sports development mainly consists of us supporting sports club and their infrastructure. So that's done in a variety of ways, such as helping with funding applications, providing advice, signposting to other partners that can help out. And also what we're trying to do is increase participation within Solihull. So the more that we can support sports clubs, the more hopefully on, our, on their behalf they can do that. Support can include uh, predominantly workforce development, so all of our sports clubs are ran mainly by volunteers, so we're trying to upskill them and ensure that there are quality opportunities within the borough. So that can be things from first aid, safeguarding workshops, and we can also, also signpost them to bursaries to help them become better qualified coaches. We run a Rusty Rackets programme, um, we've done for the last couple of years in Malvern Park or Bruton Park as some people might know it. Um, basically getting adults and children into the park uh, to come and try out some tennis. Uh, it's a good way to get them into tennis before they will join a tennis club. The idea is if they enjoy it, it's a good local source to try and bring them then into the tennis club after that. Solo Active um, got involved with us uh, three years ago. Uh, and basically through Solio Active helping us with the tennis, we have found that at Solio Tennis Club there has been an increase in uh, participants and adult membership in the club. We've also found that through the park programme, through people seeing that we're doing some kind of coaching programme, they've then come and asked us as coaches and so it's been good advertisement um, and we, all, we owe that obviously to Solio Active. We're now planning on introducing an adult coaching programme um, and we also want to do start up some cardio tennis and um, so we're going to really push those sort of adult programs because um, that's sort of not been the focus over the first few years and now we really want to try and focus on the adults as well so we can build up an all-round club. The Sully Hall Council approached me and asked me if I'd work with some naughty children at the time uh, which I, I was happy to do because I said I'd got not, not a lot else to do and the buzz I was getting out of working with the young kids basically inspired me to, to want to start myself, so I approached the council and asked them if they'd support me, which thankfully they did. What boxing did for me as a wayward kid was it made me a champion, not just in boxing, but in life. Solid Acts have been incredibly supportive for us in the last few years. What we've tried to do is we wanted a facility where the club could call its home effectively and, and, and have a traffic-free environment where we could bring kids in from all over the borough, and have a, a more of a community club based environment and what we've been able to do with, with the help of Solihull Active is, is build this facility up from just the grass that it was into this custom facility that we have now which now has lights as well and we've been able to really just develop our club incredibly that the, the growth of the club has been incredible since we've had this facility and it's really all to do with the partnership with Solihull Active and the council. The club is a very, very large swimming club with around 600 members, of whom around 500 are under the age of 18. It's a very strong relationship with Solihull Active. It really took off uh, when this pool was opened um, five years ago. Uh, we have a very close relationship with um, the members of the Solihull Leisure Department. Um, we meet in two different forums on a regular basis. The sports development team and Solihull Active work very closely with national governing bodies of sport. It's high on their agenda as well to get more people more active. So we pick priority sports, for example netball was one of our priority sports and it's getting women who used to play netball at school back into netball so in their 30s, 40s when they've had their family, they've started their career and we want to get them re-engaged into that sport. So that can be done across a variety of sports. Um, cricket, rugby, tennis, we're all looking at implementing those kind of projects.